Welcome back to the Demon Tweaks YouTube channel. We're here at Goodwood today for the 79th members meet. As you can see, the weather is absolutely beautiful. The car's on track, I'm sure you're gonna hear. We've got our ambassadors, some of our team members here today competing in some of the races. So we're gonna take you along for the journey, show you what Goodwood is all about. Come on, let's go and have a look. We're with Jason and Phil. They've just got out of the car from the Jerry Marshall Trophy. Done a bit of qualifying and practice. Right, fellas, how was it? How was the car? It's epic. It's such a fun little car. You just sort of throw it around the track and it just keeps hanging on. It's good fun. Awesome. And it's the first time you've driven this car, isn't it, Phil? Yes, yeah, first time today. Uh, Jason very kindly let me have a blast. And uh, no, it's been uh, it's great fun. Really good fun to drive. And uh, you know, it's great to be here. Great to drive around Goodwood and, and all these historic cars. You know, you don't, you don't see them out much anymore. And it's good just to see them all together and be out there on the circuit having some fun. And how's the track running today, guys? Out of the little cars, which is basically anything that isn't a V6 or V8, we're, uh, well, sorry, Phil's the quickest by about two seconds. So what's your answer to that, Phil? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, the car's great. The, the, the guys have done a great job in prepping the car and it's running really nicely. So, you know, it makes, uh, makes it a lot easier. So hopefully we'll have a look at the V-Box and uh, find Jace a couple of seconds and then we'll uh, overtake some V8s. Fantastic. So uh, we'll check back in with you after the race this afternoon. Good luck, fellas. Cheers. So it's not just all about the track action here at Goodwood. You can actually get access fully to the pits and the paddock, as you can see here. There's loads to see. You've got the mechanics working on the cars, drivers discussing how the performance has been out on track. Next thing to do is to just take it all in. Come on, let's go and find out what's going on. Looking at the number 33 car currently, that's the John Minshaw and Phil Keane car. Both are rapid. They'll be, that is a, a front-running car in many ways. Uh, they're both very quick drivers, and we'll see how it all settles down once the lap time starts to come in. We've got, uh, yeah, actually that car is quickest so far. So the chequered flag is out, and a few cars already slowing down and heading back into the pits, and it looks as though uh, the fastest time has indeed gone to the E-type of Phil Keane and John Minshaw. They've taken pole position by half a second. too quick didn't it he was quite probably a little late on the brakes and uh, caught out yeah. the car behind um, both of them experienced drivers you wouldn't have expected that under normal circumstances but certainly uh, mistakes can happen and they did so there we are um, we'll be seeing them heading out onto the circuit not only Le Mans was it a successful car of course it was very successful in the, in the World Endurance Championship, taking the titles in 1982, 1983, 1984. Lights on, and 2.3 miles then. We've got 15 minutes of uh, demonstration laps. The uh, white number six uh, car, that's actually another one that raced in Japan. 
um, a lot back in the day. It was a 1984 Carver, and Shippen and now Hiro Fujita ran it. Uh, they won two events at Suzuka, that's it there, in uh, 1983. And it won the All Japan Endurance Championship in 1983 as well, that car. So, yeah, lovely to see that, that, that the car wasn't just successful at the Mans, all over the world. And that one very special in Japan. So, uh, a, real, a real joy to watch. And uh, <laughs> I hope you've all been able to take it on board. It's day two here at Goodwood, and yesterday we saw loads of action out on track. In the Jerry Marshall Trophy, we saw that Phil Keane and Jason Minshaw outqualified their class, giving them a great start for the race later that afternoon. Unfortunately, just after the driver change, Phil Keane had a big incident on track, meaning that we had to retire the car. In the afternoon, we had the Graham Hill Trophy qualifying, in which Phil Keane and John Minshaw placed P1, giving them an excellent start for today's race. We finished the day with a glorious sunset, watching the Group C Porsche 956s and 962s heading around the track here at Goodwood. So let's go and take a closer look at the Trust liveried Porsche 956. We're here with Phil Keane with the 956 today. Phil, you took this out last night. How was it? Yeah, it was great. I mean, to, to drive this car around here and with all these other 956s, 962s was a, was a fantastic experience. Great fun. And what, what's it feel like to drive? Because I'm assuming this is a little bit different to your, your sort of modern race car. It's actually quite surprising, really. It's actually really nice to drive and you feel completely at home sat in it. Um, it's got a synchro gearbox, uh, while most of the other cars in period had a dog box. So it's actually, you know, it is. Apart from the turbo lag, it's actually very nice to drive and pretty easy to drive. I mean, it's a fantastic experience just going down the straight yesterday at Goodwood. You're in fifth gear as fast as you can go and, and, and it's, it feels remarkably stable, actually. It porpoises a little bit, but it, it, it actually you think to yourself, yeah, you can actually think you would have done that speed in period and it would have felt reasonably comfortable. We're here in the assembly area, ready to start the Graham Hill Trophy. So far, really exciting day. We're going to join Phil Keane and John Minshew after the race to see how they got on. So lead car is the number two E-Type. Rob Huff currently driving this car after that great start from the outside of the front row. In second place, another Jaguar E-Type. And it's uh, John Minshew will be handing over to Phil Keane later. It's looking good uh, for the Minshaw Keen E-Type, the number 33 car, which I think will now inherit the lead as this car comes into the pits. And Rob Huff, who's done a fantastic job right from the start, starting on the outside of the front row, time to swap over. Yeah, the Minshaw Keen car has just put in the fastest lap of the race as well, 124.831. So. so this is the car now that's lapping very, very quickly. We know that that was part of the battle in the early parts of this race. And you've got to say that uh, Phil Keane now has got uh, a, a good advantage. The pit stop is at time of 50, 50 seconds. seconds. And you're just saying, what's <laughs> I, the gap? I, I was just pointing at the screen for, for Ben to, to, to take note of it. It's 56 seconds with the gap between Huff and the Minshaw Keane team. And if he's got 50 seconds in the pits, that is going to bring them right together by the time they roll out of pit lane. Well, as you say, he got going. So there you are. So there, effectively, it's going to be the E-type battle once again. Uh, this time, though, Phil Keen is driving the lead car and he's very rapid and it's Chris Lillingston Price who has taken on the other E-Type from Rob Huff and I'm not sure Chris is going to have quite the same pace that Rob had. So this car now has a bit of an advantage and it's looking pretty good. Phil Keen with that fastest lap last time around, that 124.8, a very, very impressive lap time indeed and it's looking in, in beautiful shape right now. Look how he runs it right out to the very edge, but it, it's going forwards. It's not too sideways anywhere. There is our race leader then. Still right a, out to the white line. Yeah, he's still pushing on, isn't he? Uh, his last lap was a 125.4, uh, which is still pretty much quicker than everybody behind him, isn't it? They're, they're, they're about a second a lap slower than he is. But the race victory in the Graham Hill Trophy is being dominated this race in the end by the number 33 E-Type. The checker flag comes out and Phil Keen takes victory along with John Minshaw, both of them delivering superbly well here today. They got fastest lap as well and they've taken a comfortable victory. 
So Phil, fantastic result out there today. Don't think it could have gone any better, really, could it? No, John did a fantastic job, had a good start and stayed in tow with, uh, with Rob. So, you know, it was a, a good race, really. You know, plain sailing. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like you had the track to yourself for most of that towards the end. Yeah, obviously, you know, the safety guy helped clear the traffic and just had a clear run to the flag. So, you know, it was a good job by BMS and all the guys and the car's been really good this weekend and makes it a lot, makes it a bit easier. So that brings our Goodwood experience here to an end. It's been a fantastic weekend for the 79th members meet. Some brilliant action out on track, some close battles, a couple of little battle scars on some of the cars, as you'll have seen. Um, but a brilliant result for John Minshaw and Phil Keane in the Graham Hill Trophy. Absolutely fantastic there. Um, if you've liked this video, please do hit the subscribe button. Give it a like as well. It does help us in the algorithm. And we will see you next time.